Are you looking for a budget-friendly laser engraver? I may just have the right tool for you. Atomstack A5, it's in the box. I'm gonna have a look at it and see if it's actually worth the money. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY Channel. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Let's talk about some specs with this laser. The engraving area is 410 millimeters by 400 millimeters, although you can actually extend this and in total you would go to 850 millimeters by 410 millimeters. So you can do some really massive engraving uh, projects. The laser module here is 5 watts. The laser module itself, uh, the spot is more focused, the energy is more concentrated and that will help you in really good quality engraving results. The laser spot in this module is 0.16 by 0.19 millimeters, it's really tiny um, and again it gives you really good performance when it comes to engraving or even cutting materials. The laser module also comes with eye protection cover, a really nice design, I do like that. So as you've seen the laser comes in a really nice neat package, um, all safely wrapped, um, no issues here whatsoever. It comes with all the essentials that you would expect from a laser, okay, you've got your glasses, you've got uh, all the bits and pieces, nothing's missing. So uh, yeah, definitely a full on package. And I do really like the simplicity of this laser. You only got one button to switch on and it just goes, it just turns on and it works absolutely fine. Plug it into your PC, use light burn or um, laser gerbil and off you go. Now with the laser fully assembled, I just want to say thank you to the sponsors of today's video, lasercom.com, an online store for all your laser engraving needs. You can find a wide variety of different laser engravers that will fit any budget you've got, plus all the accessories that you may need for your projects. So go and have a look at those websites and see if there are any cool offers there for you. Okay, so the laser, the assembly is that simple. There's no surprises here. Everything fits absolutely fine. No issues at all. It's all well machined, um, all made from aluminium. So yeah, no hassle with that as well. In the pack, you've got this um, acrylic plate that is to set up your laser. Um, very simple to do. Just place it like that. Lower the laser head until it touches. Remove that. And now the laser head is set up, ready to go. First of all, we're gonna do two tests. One is an engraving test to see you the performance that this um, laser module could actually achieve. And then we'll do a cut test. Both of the tests will be in four millimeter plywood. So let's carry on with this. One thing I want to mention at this point is that the fan of the laser head is actually very, very quiet. Um, especially when I compare it to my auto lasers, which are quite loud, this is actually very, very quiet. Now the simplicity of this laser, it's actually its own benefit. It's really plug and play, that simple. Uh, the software I'm using is Laser GRBL. Uh, there was no issues, you know, it connected straight away. You've got two cables for this laser. One is for power and the other one is to connect it to your um, laptop or PC. And it's just as simple as that. It's really plug and play and there's no issues with this laser at all. Right then guys, so uh, the test has finished and I'm actually mega surprised with the results. I actually had to stop the test as it would basically burn through the four millimeter um, plywood sheet. I'm really impressed with how much power there is in this module and it's only 5 watts. Yes, maybe the technology that's uh, how it operates um, is making up for it, but tell you what, I'm really impressed with how much power it actually packs with 600 speed. I didn't want to carry on with this because it would just go through. Same over here, 1000 uh, millimeters per minute. 60% and that's nearly through same as this one so I didn't carry on and even with speed 2000 millimeters per minute that is ever so deep and you know that's at 80% power super super powerful laser 
a little bit of overburn around the uh, you know more powerful settings so yeah look at that 6060 percent power and that seems to be very very nice very powerful laser okay let's have a look how it will do on the cutting test Okay, so let's have a look what we've got in the end and what the laser managed to cut through. Okay, we'll go one out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's not coming out and this one no that's it so check this out really solid results okay 80 power and right up to 150 millimeters per minute no issues at all at 100 it goes right up to 200 millimeters uh, per minute really solid results i'm very impressed with this little laser okay so let's start engraving stuff first of all let's engrave my photo on this four millimeter plywood after that we're gonna do leather and after that stainless steel let's see how the performance of this laser will be with those materials i'm currently running at 6000 millimeters per minute with 100 percent power okay let's check this out well i have to say i am mega impressed with the quality on this look at the detail the t-shirt the eyes absolutely fantastic that is some great engraving really cool very happy with this result next test five millimeter leather let's have a look how the laser will cope with engraving that. The setup here is 6,000 millimeters per minute, 80% um, power. Let's do one more test. This time is 3,000 millimeters per minute and still 80% power. And check that out super crisp result really like the quality on the second trial a little bit slower but look at that absolutely super dead crisp the first try a little bit too fast but still really good and sharp results I'm really impressed how sharp uh, the engraving is with this laser now we're gonna engrave steel uh, I've got a steel uh, card scraper, 350 uh, millimeters per minute, 100% power. Um, let's have a go at it. And check this out. Really nice and clear. Absolutely fantastic performance. And as you've seen, I didn't have to... Uh, Put any film on it or anything like that and uh, you can feel it under your uh, finger that it actually engraved a little bit into the metal absolutely fantastic in this test we're going to be cutting acrylic sheet as you can see it's black and it's three millimeters thickness 100 percent power 100 millimeters per minute And as you can see, 
it managed to cut it through in only two passes. And very high quality of the cut as well. Now let's cut plywood. In this case it's 10 millimeters in thickness. Right then, so that was in total 20 passes. I think we're gonna call it a quits at this point. Um, it still didn't manage to get through, but how deep did it go? Let's check it out. Let's see if I can break this off. Well, <laughs> it was almost there. Not much left at all. However, with 20 passes, I think um, this laser is definitely not made for cutting thick materials, that's for sure. The very last test I want to do is the speed test. So I've got a um, stencil, I've got a graphic here I want to engrave. Let's go for 10,000 millimeters per minute, 100% um, power, and let's see how it goes. Well, look at that, 10,000 millimeters per minute, 100% power, and the quality is still there. Absolutely fantastic. Tell you what, this is an engraving beast. Great little laser in a budget price. And there you go, guys, Atomstack A5 Pro Plus, very neat package here. Super simple to put together, plug and play and no issues and as you can see it actually performs quite well you know with the um, engraving details what it manages to cut as well although you know that's four millimeters and that was no issues at all for the laser 10 millimeters of plywood that's a little bit too much i think if you go up to six millimeters of plywood uh, this laser should handle it with no issues it does cut acrylic three millimeters in two passes no problems at all very nice and clean cut as well and the engraving this is where this laser really shines absolutely fantastic performance where it comes to engraving and even with speed 10,000 millimeters uh, per minute absolutely fantastic performance same on the leather if you've got some leather projects that you want to engrave absolutely perfect tool for it plus on steel as well hopefully you're going to be able to see it no issues at all i think it's a very solid tool here very solid option if you are looking for a laser engraver at a really competitive price so i'm going to leave some links to this machine down below in the description of this video so you can read more about it and see what it is and uh, yeah that's it from me guys thank you very much for watching take care